that if you or anybody else is wearing this one, they have the largest capacity, which there's not a lot of portable battery packs that that supplies that. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm going to introduce a whole new series that is referred to as Tech Tuesdays. So every single Tuesday, I'll upload a video about a brand new product that you should definitely know about and maybe even possibly purchase. Now, some of these are gonna be amazing, some of them are gonna be okay, and some of them are probably just gonna suck, but I have a lot of different product that I have to go through, and this is the best way for me to get all these things done. I will be doing anywhere between one product to multiple products. So today I will be reviewing three different products, but they're all in the same category of the power category. Now, the great thing about this video is that I will be introducing to you three different products and they're all at three different price points going from low, medium to high. So there's definitely something in here for the mix for you. Now the first product that we will be talking about today is gonna to be coming from NOG and it is a 4,600 milliamp battery pack. Now the order for which I will be placing these three products will be from the lowest to highest. So this one comes in at the $17 price point. So if you're very cost conscious and you don't wanna have anything that is super expensive, you just want something that works and it does have a larger milliamp than what your phone is currently using, then this one from NOG is going to be a amazing option for you sitting at that $17 price point. Now inside the package, is going to be your user manual giving you information of exactly what is going on with this thing pretty much all the different specs and also what do all the different battery lights mean which we'll go over that here in just a second um, but it'll also come over with a micro USB charging cable now the portable battery pack this one from NOG is going to be charged with a micro USB now if you're sitting at home right now and you don't have a micro USB cable don't worry about it you do have this one here that you are able to plug into a computer or just a normal power block to get this thing plugged in and charged now, if you do have products that is using micro USB, all you have to do is just plug this in over inside of there. You're gonna have your lights that do turn on, which you see there is going to be four different lights. And I'll let you know what that means here in just a second. And now you're able to charge anything via micro USB. Now, if you don't have anything that is USB, let's say that you are using something that is USB type C, or maybe you have an Apple product that is lightning cable, just plug it in as always as this uh, USB right here, and then you'll be able to charge that product. Now, my initial thoughts on this one is that it is super slim, it's super light. This thing is elegant, it's able to really just fit over into any little pocket or purse or pocketbook that you have. So if you're male or female and you want something that's very minimalistic, something that's very small, but able to charge your device, this one is definitely able to do it. Now heading over to the manual, what you're gonna see is that if you have zero lights, that means that you definitely need to recharge this thing immediately. If you have one light that is illuminated, it has less than 25% left. If you have two lights, you are between 25 and 75%. And if you have those three lights, then you are more than 75% capacity. So really just keep yourself right around those two and three dots, making sure that you are able to make it through the day. Now the input and the output for this one, just so you guys know, it's regular charging for this one. So it'll probably take a good five hours to charge this thing from zero to 100%. And then when this one is doing the output of charging your device, this one is at the normal 2.1 amp. So you will not be getting the fast charging for your Samsung device, but at that price point of $17, again, it has a good amount of amperage for you or milliamps for you to charge your device fully from zero to 100%. And it's a very slim form factor. Now, the next product is one that I am super excited to review. And I've also used it for the last week is that it comes from Zero Lemon. I know for a fact when I see Zero Lemon and I see this huge white packaging with this amazing 180 day, 100% Zero Lemon promise, I know that the thing I'm about to strap to my phone has the largest milliamp capacity for a cell phone case that you're able to place onto your Samsung Galaxy devices. So let's pop this thing open and let me show you what I'm talking about. Now the contents within this packaging is going to be a small little card that's letting you know about the free 12 months extended warranty. You also have the instruction manual. And then here is a little card just reminding you that if you do like your product, make sure you head over to Amazon and put in a great review or any review for that matter. Now inside of that small little white box you guys saw there, it was this little juice pack right here. Now the nice thing I love about seeing the name of Zero Lemon is that you know for a fact that if you or anybody else is wearing this one, they have the largest capacity of a juice pack or battery pack that you're able to strap onto your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now inside of here is going to be the USB type C. This is just basically where you slide everything in. So when you insert your phone, you wanna start it from the very bottom and then you kind of work your way up. So what you do is you just basically place this in there. It's gonna slide right on in 
in and then you just place it inside of there too. Now you have a 5,200 milliamp battery that is strapped on over to your normal internal battery of a 3,500 milliamp battery. So you know for a fact that you're able to go from zero to 100% with this zero lemon portable battery pack or juice case that is on your phone and even more. Now, the only things that I really wanna say about this that I do also like is on the very bottom, these little plugs, they're definitely at the corner of where they'd be able to be placed. Sometimes when you run into a case, they're kind of dug deep inside of the case and some of your cables or cords, even your headphone jacks will not work. This one should work with almost any cable or any type of a headphone that you are able to use. All the cutouts are perfect for the speaker, the little microphone and everything else, all the different buttons and everything is extremely easy to press. So it's nothing that is extremely hard. Now, the only downside I'd have to say with this one is there is no protection for your screen. Now, I don't have a screen protector on here right now, which I will actually soon as I test the very next one. But I do want to mention that if you have a tempered glass sitting on top of here um, and you place your phone down, it is completely exposed and it will be touching your little tempered glass will be touching any surface you just laid it on. Now really quick to show you how this thing works, you do wanna just press and hold on that little button and once it lights up, then now you are charging your device. Now, a couple things I do wanna mention with the color of this case. Now talking about the colors that you're gonna see on the back of this case, because they don't have a little dot system, if you do see white, then you are between 75 and 100%. If you see green, you're between 50 and 75. If you see blue, you're between 25 and 50%. Now red is if you're between the zero and 25%. So really, you do wanna to try to keep yourself between green and white to make sure that you are able to charge your device appropriately. Now my closing statement for the Zero Lemon battery pack is that with this thing sitting at the $40 price point, you're definitely not going to beat it with getting something that is already strapped to your phone as a case with as large of a battery capacity as this one. Now the other nice thing that I definitely need to tell you guys is that this one has the pass-through charging, which is very important because obviously charging your phone is more important than charging the case initially. So when you do plug in your phone and you have this case that is also connected, when you plug it in the pass-through charge will charge your phone at the normal fast charging rate so then this way you know the for a fact you're able to go from zero to 100 percent in 90 minutes then once your phone is at 100 percent then it actually starts charging your case and if your case is 100 percent dead going from zero to 100 percent will take about six hours to get it up there fully now let's just say that you are using this case right here to charge your samsung galaxy product it will go at the normal cable charging rate. So it's not going at the fast charging rate, but the cable charging rate. Now that is the one thing I wish that they would be able to change in the future is given the ability of doing the fast charging from this case. Now the very last important note with this one is that when you are talking about this little port on the very bottom, this one is only supporting the charging capability, not anything with data or transfer or anything else. So if you have this case on there and you try to plug in a keyboard or a flash drive or you plug it into your computer, it might not work for data transfer or anything else. This one's really solely made for charging. But other than that, this one is a perfect and amazing price point of $40 to get you through the day with a huge 5,200 milliamp battery. Now this last one is from Tech Avenue and this one's sitting at the $80 price point. And here in just a second, you're gonna notice why. Now inside this box is going to be a huge 8,000 milliamp battery pack that you're able to use, not only plugged in if you wanna charge something with any of these one or two different USB ports, but you can also do a wireless charging right here, which that is very important that I have to talk about here in just one second. Now, underneath this little portion right here, you're gonna have a cable and it comes with micro USB. Now, micro USB right here is the only thing I would change about any of these portable battery packs that pretty much is sold today. Most of them have micro USB, which most of these cables are just used to charge this only and other folks are using either USB type C or lightning cable. I wish they would go with the normal standard USB type C. So in this way, when we do use this cable that comes inside the box, we would also be able to use it for our phone. Now this one right here does have a little bit of weight to it, but it definitely just feels good. Um, you have the power button that is sitting right up over here. These are gonna be your power lights, which almost all of them are the exact same. If you see one light, you're between 25 and zero. If you see two of them, you're between 25 and 50%. This one is the 50% to 75%. And then the very last one is 75% to 100%. That little light that went off, that just kind of lets you know that this thing is not being turned on at the moment, it actually turned off. So if you're inactive of using this one for about 10 seconds, then it will actually turn 
turn off for you. Now, the other thing I do want to show you that right now, this one is a blue light. And when you are using this one, it will change red. So here's the functionality side of the portable battery pack. You can see here, this one is going to be your power button. You also have two different USBs, and then this is where you'd be able to charge this battery pack. Now, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to plug it over into this USB right over here, which is the non fast side, which this one is the blue side, which is supposed to be faster. But if you are charging a Samsung Galaxy product, um, I have not yet seen the word fast charging. So this one will charge at the normal charging rate or the normal cable charging that you would use if you had any type of the old power blocks. Now we're going to plug it over into the faster side. And I was hopefully expecting to see the word fast charging underneath here, but I do not. Now, maybe if you have yourself the iPhone, maybe their little quick charge, maybe it could work on this side. Um, but quick charge and fast charge are two different things. Um, the Samsung fast charging is definitely faster. Now, this next thing I'm going to show you is the reason why I definitely suggest this portable battery pack, because there's a lot of different portable battery packs out there that have a large capacity of maybe, let's say, 8,000 or 10,000. Um, some of them also do have wireless charging that is built in. But if you were to turn this thing on, place your Samsung Galaxy device on top of there, now you're actually able to get the fast charging. So if I was to bring this up just a little bit closer, you can see that this one is supporting fast charge, which there is not a lot of portable battery packs that, that supplies that. So I just find this to be pretty funny and amusing that I'm able to place my phone on top of a portable battery pack. It's able to do the fast wireless charging, but it's not able to do the normal fast corded charge. So this is just one thing I do want to mention over to Tech Avenue. So Tech Avenue, if you're watching this video, please look into this on putting out that fast charging capability with a cable and also keeping the ability of doing the fast wireless charging because this is just super helpful. If you're just out and about, place this thing in your pocket. Both of them are just going to sit on top of each other. You don't have any cables running or going across anything or coming out of a pocket. You're able to still fast wirelessly charge your device, but just kind of put the output a little bit higher for the USBs. So now where I'd like to end this video is just by letting you guys know the different price points of all three of these one more time, letting you guys know the pros and the cons, a really fast overview. So you have your NOG right over here. It has a 4,600 milliamp battery that's sitting inside of there. This one's sitting at the $17 price point. So if you're looking at something that is very cost effective and also something that is super slim, almost able to fit in any pocket pur purse or pocket or anything else, this one is definitely the one for you. Now, if you're looking for something to have as a little juice pack, something that is sitting on your phone without having a cable or anything else. And then you also want to make sure you have the highest capacity. This one is the best opportunity or purchase for you other than getting yourself a Mophie case, which the Mophie case number one is not even out yet. And also it is double the price point of zero lemon but yet this one has the larger milliamps and this one's sitting at the $40 price point. The only thing Mophie has that this one does not have is wirelessly charging, but you know what? You can live without that because I would rather be out and about in the world with a bigger milliamp battery pack also at a smaller price point. And then this one right over here is going to be the Tech Avenue. This one has the 8,000 milliamp battery, which this one over here, I forgot to mention um, within this little segment right here is that this one is sitting at 52. So you have 46, 5,200, then you have 8,000. This one's sitting at the $80 price point. You have the normal two different USBs. You're able to charge your different devices, but the biggest selling point is going to be the fast wireless charging you're able to use with this one. So I hope that you guys appreciated this video. If you guys are interested in any of these products, I will have the link below the video. And outside of that, make sure I share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And also don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here and I'll see you guys later.